Uh, Margaret, where were you born? In England, in Surrey. You're not entirely British by ancestry, are you? My mother's half Brazilian. When did you start to learn dancing? How old were you? Uh, I suppose about uh, six. Did you show outstanding ability very early as a child? Well, I think those would be too strong words to use. I think that um, I showed a natural aptitude yeah. and I and enjoyed enthusiasm? the dancing. I took it terribly seriously, very, very seriously. I remember always terribly anxious to do exactly what I'd been told to the extent that in my concentration I would almost always stick my tongue out the side of my mouth <laughs> trying so hard to get everything right. And I remember that my mother would be somewhere in the wings or my dancing teacher would be there saying, smile, smile. You travelled quite a lot as a child, didn't you? Uh, yes, then from when I was about um, eight or nine, we started to travel abroad. Mm -hmm. Can you remember any particular inspiration by any dancer or by any performance that gave you a longing to make dancing your profession? Well, I saw so little, you see, until, um, I suppose, when I was 12, when my mother um, and I came back to England for a short visit to see my brother, who was in school, and I saw the Camargo Society. It was the first ballet performance I'd ever seen. And I saw Markova dancing. And I saw Les Sylphides. I saw some of the early performances at the Sadler's Wells. I think from that moment, I knew what ballet was yes. and then knew that I would like to try to do it, though I never thought I had any possibility of succeeding. Yes. Well, you were accepted for the Sadler's Wells School and transferred to the corps de ballet of the Sadler's Wells Company. How old were you with that? I was 14 when I went to the school and I was, I think, just 15 when I started to dance with the company. Mm -hmm. The company really was still in its infancy. Oh, right? yes, it was very small in those days, so one could literally have one foot in the school and one foot in the company, yes. which I did for quite a while. I was still a student when I was um, already dancing small solos in Les Sylphides. Mm -hmm. And it was indeed on repertory lines. You'd dance Giselle one evening and be back in the Corps de Ballet the next. Uh, yes. Yes. Now, when you became a, a principal, did you have a, any feeling of the acceptance of, of, of destiny, or, or did this come as a complete surprise? Oh, I, I don't think I really noticed. There wasn't any one point at which um, I became a principal. I was just working all the time in the ballet mm -hmm. in different roles, some of them um, very important and some of them quite small. As far as you were concerned, you were just dancing? I was dancing, yes. And Shall very busy at that, <laughs> much too busy to take stock of what was happening. In the main, do you prefer classical ballet to a character or modern? Um, well, classical ballet is much the most difficult to do, so one wouldn't say one prefers it. Um, it's absolutely essential to do the classical ballets, I think. It's the standard by which one's judged, and I wouldn't like not to do them, but yes. I... Which is your favourite classical role? Um, well, I suppose Swan Lake and Giselle and Sleeping Beauty and all the classical <laughs> ballets. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, uh, Sleeping Beauty in a way less than the others because it has less character. Mm -hmm. And which of the modern ballads? Um, oh, well, so many. I couldn't say just one, possibly. All of them? Uh, Ondine, of course, yes. particularly my ballet. The new Romeo and Juliet I love doing, the Daphnis and Chloe, and uh, oh, very many of them. Does a dancer have to be a, a very musical person? Um, does one have to have studied music in order to interpret it, to phrase it? Well, I haven't studied music very much. Do you play an instrument? I don't play an instrument, no, but I'm very affected by the rhythms in music particularly, and I can't imagine dancing without music. I mean, that's the whole raison d'etre for dancing. It doesn't exist without the music to my mind. Do you play the gramophone a lot? Quite a lot. I like playing the gramophone, but uh, I don't play it nearly as much as I uh, would think I do, and I don't quite understand why not, except that I think music is so much a part of my dancing that if I'm listening to music, I'm in a way working. I'm, I'm not completely relaxed, but oddly enough, um, what I've always looked forward to most in my life would be an old age on a desert island just playing <laughs> gramophone <laughs> records all day long. Dame Marco, ballet dancing requires obviously tremendous discipline and concentration, how frequently do you give a performance that satisfies your own standards? Oh, uh, perhaps one in 20, not more. What are your plans for the future? You're off to the United States again? Yes, yes. And after that? Uh, I suppose I'll be dancing here in the autumn. I never look very far ahead into the future.